Hey, it's Troy from Bookseller Academy. Uh, today's video, um, I'm gonna show you our new price as you go feature for the listing software. Um, I had to go to a bag sale to actually test this. Um, we usually have these bag sales at our local library um, every month. Uh, you get a bag, fill it up for five bucks, and you get all these books. Um, it's great cost of goods. Uh, but it's also um, a good way to show you guys how much profit you can get from a $5 bag and uh, as well as showcase the new feature uh, in our software. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to do this live um, so that way um, you can get a kind of idea of how to use the software, uh, but also um, see what we get and see what kind of mistakes that I've made when I'm sourcing uh, what I've sourced today. Any mistakes, you'll actually see it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna take out all the books from the bag. That way we could figure out the cost of goods, uh, how much I paid per book. Alright, so looks like I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So about 19 books fit in that bag, so we'll just go ahead and bring out the calculator here. And we're just going to go $5 uh, dollars divided by 19. All right, so it's gonna come out to about 26 cents per book. So that's what we're gonna use as far as our cost of goods and the software. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Let me just stack the books here. All right, so I have this, um, I don't know, eSky scanner, it's a desktop scanner. Um, uh, I think I, got this used at a garage sale, um, but I'm pretty sure you could find any type of desktop scanner, uh, USB scanner that you could buy off of Amazon. What it does, it gives you, anytime you put your put an object below it, the scanner automatically um, scans. I don't know if you can see the red, um, red laser coming out, but let's go ahead and just go to list FBA and let's list the products here. Um, for the default price, I'm just going to put it at 807 because I like the number, the cost of goods. Um, again, we're just going to be 26 cents and the quantity. And for this purpose, we're just going to set the books to good. Okay. Put the barcode out there and let's go ahead and scan. All right. So this is a 1.3 million rank. Um, let's see that there's a used uh, FBA box or FBA prices here. It's kind of familiar to some of your scanning apps that you have. Um, Amazon's not selling. Um, it's the lowest used buy box is $20, but I uh, can't really trust that. Again, I'm just getting this information from Amazon and doing our best to showcase it to so you can make good pricing decisions. Um, you could actually view the listing here. Um, let's see if you have the Keep In extension or the Helium 10 extension, uh, which I don't have on this computer. Um, you could see the, uh, the ranking charts as a dip, so you could kind of gauge how many times this book sells but for this purpose i just want to show you how to price as you go so i'm just going to go ahead and be aggressive with this thing um 
and I'm just going to use the lowest used FBA offer that they have. If you actually hover over it, you could see the um, the feedback score. So this person priced it at 90 uh, or is that 90% feedback score with 700 uh, uh, feedback. So um, it's definitely not a new seller. Uh, but we could go ahead and click this and it automatically set the price to 1449 um, I set default shipping uh, per unit to 50 cents and the fees are already calculated this is going to be a six dollar book profit and the fees here um, and these are the Amazon fees so we'll just go ahead and set the price and we'll go through one by one Again, I'm just going to be very aggressive with this, and I'm just going to choose this uh, used lowest used uh, FBA, and this is what Amazon sees. So it, there's a limitation on the API and how much, uh, how many items it can uh, pull back. So if you really want to look at the actual offers, uh, you can click on View Offers here, and let's go ahead and click on Prime. And we could do a side-by-side -side comparison. It looks like uh, Amazon is selling it. And uh, $13.98, $13.98. So that's a used price right there. And it's good condition. We could hover over. It's only one person that's actually, uh, or one uh, feedback comment, but he has 100% feedback. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in a little bit. Um, it has only one rating and you know what I'm gonna actually price it against this 1825 and let's go ahead and set this to we'll just match the price uh, the ranks a little high uh, maybe I won't <laughs> so I'll just uh, set the price okay let's keep going here All right, so again, I'm just gonna be very aggressive uh, here and just hit uh, 23.77, just match the price, profit $12, and we'll set the price. And let's just go through this whole thing and just price it really aggressively. Oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, the API is not pulling back any uh, used FB offers. Let's look at the offers real quick and look at Prime. So again, uh, there's a uh, there's a lot of mer uh, merchant fulfilled, which is probably hitting the limits of the API. That's why you can't really see anything here. But it's always good to uh, check. Uh, but it's it's a new offer, and so it's a used. So we're looking for a used uh, co uh, competing offer of a used book. Um, so let's go here and here. Amazon's not selling. This is where Keepa or Helium 10 is uh, really needed at this point. Again, sorry, I don't have it installed on this machine, but um, I'll put up another video with um, the extension uh, installed. And maybe we could actually install the extension right now. Let's go to Helium uh, 10. And because I really want to see this, this at, I don't know what I should price it at, but you could also click here and let's look at the offers again. Let's look at prime and I'm just going to go ahead and price this at $18. Well, let's make it 15. Let's calculate the fees. Profit still five bucks. Fees nine dollars. That's fine. Um, price has been updated. Let's set this again. Eight oh seven. Cost of goods is twenty six cents. Twenty one. And let's go ahead and set it to good. All right. Let's keep going here. All right. I'm gonna just price this aggressively. Let's make sure that I'm, yeah, so he has 85% uh, comment rating, 24 or not comments, but 24 ratings, and we'll just we'll just set the price to that. All right. 
at Amazon selling. It's a pretty high rank, 3.8 million. Um, I wish, really. Let's make sure that I could actually view the extension. Uh, again, you. I'm sorry, but uh, the. Oh, it's here. No data available. Um, I don't know why I picked up this book, but um, at a 3.8 million rank, it's still kind of it's pushing it. Even if I price it at 29.99, profit is 20 bucks. Um, I'm not sure if it will sell. It's a little high, but um, our uh, my criteria we're pretty loose with it. Um, but we'll just go ahead and set the price. Let's see here. All right. 600,000 rank. Uh, Amazon is selling. Okay. Um, it's not showing a used FBA buy box here. Uh, but let's go ahead and view the listing first. Let's see. Helium is actually running. Okay, it's sold. Um, it's sold in the last uh, three, uh, three. It's sold three times in the last, I don't know, what is that, six, seven days. Um, so let's go back here and let's go ahead and price this at 15. All right. See if it actually grabs it. All right. High rank. I don't know why. Maybe because Amazon's selling. Um, let's just make sure that uh, I'm actually viewing the listing and see if it actually sold. No data available. So this is kind of like a. Uh, um, Kind of coin flip for me again. This is only twenty six cents, um, but if we do set it, let's say uh, since Amazon's selling, we would be aggressive with it. Let's go ahead and um, set the price. But I just want to make sure that what's the fees on here? Fees nine dollars, still profit twenty dollars. Um, I could probably really be more aggressive with this just because the rank is really high. Um, the rank is six million. So you can even go back and actually change the prices if uh, you want to change your mind. But I want to try to get through this video so you can kind of have an idea of this price as you go feature. So let's go ahead and Let's move this to the side. Actually, let me just put this on the floor. Okay. 1.2 million, 34 used. Go ahead and set the price on that. Let's go ahead and set the price. Again, I'm just being really aggressive, obviously. Uh, please do your um, due diligence in trying to uh, price this right. I'm just going really for the low price and what the Amazon API sees. So right now it's not seeing anything on this side, so let's go ahead and view the offers. Um, let's go used. Um, wow, it's kind of all over the place. Um, I don't even know if this book sells, but let's, let's view the listing. Um, what's the helium says? Helium is coming back. Oh, it it would drop from one uh, from 190 to something. Uh, list price of 25, but it sold twice. So let's go ahead and price this. Um, let me look at the offers again. Uh, let's just price this at 25. What the heck? And let's set the price. Did my scanner just die? No, no. There you go. 
Twelve ninety four, still about a five dollar profit. Set the price. Seventeen ninety nine. Set the price. Oh, this is going to be a little tough here. This one takes a image scan. Maybe I could find the ISBN. Yep, I could find the ISBNs right here. Nine seven eight. Seven, seven, eight, nine, zero. Oops, zero, one, four, four, zero, three. Let's see what this is. Oh, still not getting it. Nine, seven, eight, four, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, four, four, zero, three. Okay, uh, forty-five dollars. We got the image match, so you could actually see that this is the actual book. Profit thirty bucks. Let's, let's scan this one. Oh, okay. So this is a two hundred use FBA. I don't know if that's actually. Let's look at the actual offers. Look at Prime. Nifty sales, 924 might be a uh, default price for them. I'm not sure, uh, but let's look at the let's look at the listing itself. See if Helium 10 finds it. No data. You know what? I don't even know. Um, I'm just gonna price this at. Uh, let's see. Let's look at what the other people are at. Hundred. 96%, pretty good rating. Uh, let's go ahead and price this at $70. And let's set the price. 70, 70. Okay, $13.99. Still four dollars profit. Set the price. And put these books down. And we'll set the price on that. This one's a type in one three two three three seven nine three eight. Oh, zero one three two two three seven nine three eight. Okay. Let's set the price. All right, so we have 19 books. Um, all you need to do is uh, submit products and we'll do a summary report here. Let's see what we got. So our total cost of goods, um, 494. I mean, I should probably round it up to 27 since it was a $5 bag, um, but close enough. Um, the Profit here is going to be $253, and this is really pricing aggressively. Um, this uh, pie chart shows the profit, uh, how much I'm spending on shipping. Shipping, I was just doing 50 cents per book. These are Amazon fees and then the cost of goods. Um, the average rank for this whole um, haul is 1.7. So after that, um, you can go ahead and hit submit products and these products will actually go into your inventory and then you could go ahead and label your books if you do that. Um, but yeah, that's the new price as you go feature. Um, this is available now. Um, just go ahead and sign up. It's at tools.booksellacademy.com. And uh, yeah, I hope you like what you've seen so far. If you, uh, if you want to get some notifications for any new updates that we have, just go ahead and click subscribe.
All right, thank you.